So there are some f fascinating problems um, to, to address when it comes to public appreciation of precision medicine. On the one hand, people read in the daily newspaper that we have discovered the gene for something. The gene, for example, of how you react to coffee. You know, does it, does it make you high or do you, or is it just fine? So we, we, we're sort of accumulating public awareness of the basis of precision medicine. But actually, the appreciation that it can help them in their health problems, I think we're still at the very early stages. And indeed, some people, the research suggests, are quite suspicious. They might say, well, actually, you're going to use these results to deny me something that I might benefit from because your, your test suggests that I won't. And so we have a lot of public education to, um, uh, to, to invest in. Uh, and the second thing is all about confidentiality and data security. The more data we um, accumulate, particularly genomic data, the more likely patients are to say, who's going to have access to this? And how can I be sure it doesn't go to an insurance company or an employer? So there's some very interesting, and, and I, think, I think soluble, but some very interesting problems to address when it comes to data confidentiality and security. So there's a real concern in many people's minds that this more precision medicine is more expensive and will therefore only benefit countries or groups within countries that are economically very affluent. But it's interesting, across the world, and I'm in contact with people from Southeast Asia, from um, South Asia, from Latin America, a lot of countries that you might call middle-income countries are waking up to the potential here and wanting to do things themselves along exactly these lines. And in fact, they see the possibility of leapfrogging because so much of the traditional medicine practice in Western countries is expensive in ways they don't want to or need to duplicate. Can they get in early? Can they make a better prognosis of, of, of a disease? Can they therefore treat early in a, and, and receive economic benefits? So, so there's actually a bit of a leapfrog potential for those countries um, that aren't starting from where we start with all the complexities of the medical systems that we have.